Uh, my name is Yu Wai Hun, you can call me Amber, and I'm currently a nursing year two student studying at Chinese University of Hong Kong. Uh, my topic is about a coffee nap, naps. <laughs> I'm tired. If you were me, which one would you choose? A coffee or a nap? You know, sometimes a cup of coffee may not enough to wake you up. Taking a nap may even make you more tired. So why don't we just combine them together to take a coffee nap? That is, drinking a coffee, then taking a nap. It may sound a little bit confusing, I know, but yeah, no worries. I will explain it today. So our body has a chemical called adenosine. This chemical makes us feel tired by slowing down our nerve cell activities. It accumulates in our body through our day. You see, I got one now. And we have caffeine. This is like a twin of adenosine because they look so much alike. So that we compete with each other for the receptors. Caffeine replaces adenosine and binds the receptors. Therefore, our body would not sense the adenosine as well as the tiredness. This is how caffeine works. But let's get back to the uh, coffee nap. We thought not to take or drink coffee just before a long sleep because it ruined our sleeping quality or something. But a nap is a totally different story. After we drink a cup of, after we drink a cup of coffee, it takes 20 minutes for the caffeine to get into our brain. So how can we fully utilize this 20 minutes? That is to take a nap. Nap naturally can break down adenosine in our body. So when caffeine gets into our body, there's no competitor and it can bind to receptors so easily. After 20 minutes, we will wake up just in time where caffeine is kicking in. So that's how coffee nap can refresh and energize your whole body. You may not believe it, but researchers find that people have taken a coffee nap, perform better in memory tests and driving error tests than those who just take a nap or just take a coffee alone. So if you really want to take a coffee nap, here are some tricks you have to keep in mind. First, drink the coffee as quickly as you can. Before the before the caffeine gets into your brain, well, uh, drink it as quickly as you can, so the caffeine will not kick into your brain before you lie down on your bed. Second, just 20 minute nap, because a longer nap will allow your brain to get into deeper sleeping stage. You'll probably find it hard to get up. So next time, if you feel so tired to get through the day, Struggling to take a nap or to drink a coffee. Take a coffee nap. Thank you.